All right, my fun loving Aries, you know I love you. Thank you so very much for watching and liking and subscribing and commenting and sharing. I so appreciate you. So I'm going to do things a little bit different. I'm going to uh, lay out the cards in front of you guys. This is going to be the weekend love advice, weekend love spread, weekend horoscope, weekend tarot reading for the week ending in December 4th, 2016. So my Aries, you guys have been a little quiet. What's going on with you? Um, I see a lot of you are working, 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 trying to get your goals done. And some of you have gotten disheartened about your love because the right one hasn't come in. Don't worry, my little Aries, they're coming. And some of you are just tired because you've been playing. <laughs> and now you got to get back to work. All right, so let's do this one more time. I apologize for it taking so long, but some of you guys want to see me do shuffle the cards and do the spread in front of you. So, I mean, I guess for some of you that's imp rather important. I kind of channel spirit, so it doesn't really matter. They will pull up the cards that need to be pulled up anyway or get me to see what I need to see. So, all right. One more time. Let's cut this and I will take this one. Okay. So, in your first position, you have the Eight of Cups. Ooh, look at you. Ha ha ha. All right. All right, my Aries, what are you doing? Is it playtime this weekend? I think it's playtime. I think it's actually somebody serious that's going to come in. Yep. More serious than you're thinking. <clears throat> oh, good for you. All right, my gorgeous ones, my fun-loving Aries, my ride-or-die chicks. Let's get started. In your first position, you have the Eight of Cups. So it looks like this is your stance in love right now. This is the way you're seeing things. This is the way that you're understanding and feeling and what's coming at you. So the Eight of Cups tells me you're understanding and you're in a good mood. You're not here anymore. You're not in that trauma. You're not with those empty cups. You are moving forward and whatever that takes, you're seeing that maybe he's not here yet. Maybe she's not here yet, but she's on her way. And maybe I'm moving towards that. Um, I kind of feel like y'all are in a calmer space. Maybe that's what I was thinking that you were tired because I'm feeling you much calmer than usual. Okay. So, um, but I kind of feel like a lot of you are working. So what's crossing you is this is spirit's advice in this situation moving forward. Oh my God. I just got butterflies in my stomach. Some of you guys are going to meet the one. That's crazy. I just got butterflies in my stomach. Okay. So I just saw like a whole bunch of paths. Um, okay. So you have someone coming in your life. If you haven't met them yet, you are about to meet them. And even those of you that have someone and have been, have had people and you've been dating or you've been flirting and it hasn't been happening and you sort of just decided to play. Guess what? I think he's here. I think she's here. The Queen of Cups is someone who has worked very hard, someone who is very stable, who's financially able, who's emotionally able, who is here and ready for a relationship. They keep saying, you'll know because it's easy. You'll know because it's easy. So what put you guys in this situation is the King of Cups. This was a person that you had to get through, get over, understand, send them with love. Um, it took you a while. Some of you, you did it in your brain, but not in your heart. Others of you did it in your heart, but not in your brain. You finally came together, understood that, and that's what put you in this position for the Seven of Cups. So this person was a water sign, mostly. I mean, not necessarily, but uh, either a Scorpio yeah, I'm seeing a lot of Scorpio, Scorpio, um, Pisces or cancer. And I'm seeing a lot of Scorpio, maybe, 
a little bit of Pisces and Cancer, but I'm seeing mostly Scorpio. So, um, it looks like you moved away from this. Even if you weren't with them, you were still, they used to have them in your heart. You were still trying to get through that. You were mentally trying to get over that. Um, but you finally did it and it looks like you're here. And guess what? Here he or she comes. So in the fourth position at the beginning of the week and you have the three of cups and I see that as celebration because this coming this person's coming in. For others of you, it looks like you will be out and about and, and you know, being, being playful, being energetic like your normal, beautiful, sweet selves. Um, oh my gosh, yeah, like I see this mask coming off when he or she meets you. Yeah, either way, at the beginning of the weekend, it looks like you have celebration, a good time, and I kind of feel like anywhere in here this weekend, this person comes in. They're being very prominent about this person coming in for you, okay? Yeah. All right, so in your fifth position from your higher self, I always ask your higher self, what is the one message they want to bring through to help you move forward in love? You have the four coins, so they want to remind you about the balance and love. We know you get excited, my Aries. We know that you want to say, this one's mine, right? Because <laughs> you do that. So they just want to remind you, don't give too much too soon. Let them love you. Remember, this is part of your path. Let them love you. Let them show you. Let them show you who they are. Okay? And for those of you that have had your heart closed and tried to get through it, they want you to open up a little bit. So they want you to balance this energy. They also, some of you, they want you to know these are the treasures that you've asked for and they are giving them to you. That's what they've said. They've held the key, they've opened the box, and it's time for you to receive. Congratulations. Now, in your sixth position at the end of the weekend, obviously this is a general reading, so only some parts may resonate with some of you, maybe all of it will resonate with some of you, but it's general. So for a private reading, you can go to always go to your indigopath.com and order a reading from me. So you have the 10 of wands at the end of the weekend, which means even though you're tired and even if, even if it's with a heavy heart, you are moving forward. You are not looking back. You are, yeah. And let me say this, you haven't been looking back for a while, but when this person comes in, it may jolt you a little bit and you'll want to retreat because you're like, oh, wait, this really is a, the person that I'm thinking that he is or she is. And so it will be sort of that closing from this person and moving forward because it's with a heavy heart, but you know you have to do what you have to do because this person is here. I hope that makes sense. Now. In your seventh position, the question I ask is, what do you need to be reminded of in love to help you move forward? And they want to remind you about de the decisions that you've had to make, the decision that you have to make when this person comes in. See, you're used to another way of love because you had to get through this, right? And you think you're ready and you are, but you have habits. So when this person comes in, he or she is nothing like this person. So don't make them pay for this person's doings because you have a habit of it. So they want to say you have decisions to make. You have to understand that this is don't make this person pay. Okay. That's what they want to remind you in love. They want to remind you if you've divorced before, it doesn't mean you have to do it again. Okay. Now in your eighth position, this is the way a loved one will be viewing you and dealing with you. And this is the sweetest thing that I'm seeing. I see that this person has worked hard to manifest you in their life and they are grateful and pleasantly surprised that you're here. Yeah, they see it like a gift from the gods. That's so sweet. Oh, that's really, really sweet. Um, for others of you, Understand that if it's not this weekend, it's in the next couple of days or the next weekend. The time could be off like by a week or two. It just kind of depends on your path and where you are. But you are manifesting what you want. 
you are going to get the love of your life. Don't lose hope. Stay in this passion. Okay. Now, in your ninth position, uh, the question I ask is, how do you want or need to be loved? You want and need. A lot of you need this. Never to be this hurt again. Never to allow yourself this sort of pain. You don't want to be in a relationship where you're looking at this. You want to be in a relationship in love. You want somebody to love you this way, not this way. With the cups full, with always being with you, even in spirit, if not in the physical, with having his or her mind on you, with completely enveloping themselves with you, having a good time, experiencing new things. That's how you want to be loved. Not worrying about lessons and what are we doing and... Um, you know, none of that. You just want it to be different. So in your 10th position, this is what you'll be going through uh, and working towards, towards for the whole weekend. You have the sun. So understand that things will be opening up. The planets are aligning for you to receive what it is in love that you have been wanting. Okay. I will say this for those of you that are coupled. For those of you that are coupled, it is time to come to a new phase and a new understanding, but you may be stepping away from someone. For others of you, you're stepping away from the phase where both of you become very stable and have an understanding. And this is why you have the heavy heart here. And this is where you make the decision here. Okay. So I love you, love you, love you. I was seeing a lot of things. I hope you this helps and you understand. Thank you so much again for liking, subscribing, and sharing. Love you, love you, love you. Bye.